Now, by the time we hit middle age, we could have up to, get this, seven kilos of undigested faecal matter stuck in our colon. Yeah, that is not a very pleasant image, is it? But we have Dr. Emma Parry from Health 2000's live stream range of products back in the Harvey Norman Lounge to give us some advice to perhaps avoid that, I think. Good morning. Morning, Mel. That's a really pleasant image to have. Yeah, it's, not, it's not really. I don't think I really want that at this time in the morning, but thank you for I that I know. I hope image. everyone's had their breakfast <laughs> yeah, I and hope their, so too. their morning tea and everything. So we're talking about gut health. I mean, yep. what, is, what does it actually mean? So the gut is one of the biggest organs of the body. We don't think much about it, but it's also got around 2 kgs of organisms in it too. So it's pretty important. 2 kgs of them? 2 kgs, oh, yeah. So, so the gut um, is very important. So we think about those organisms that are in the gut. They need to be healthy. And I've talked about that quite a bit before about healthy organisms but there's also other components of the gut which are really important so there's things like the um, enzymes and the acid in our stomach that helps to digest the food along with the organisms and then you've also got things like motility so the bowel is a muscle so we think of our muscles you know like you know lifting up weights but inside us there's a whole bunch of muscles that we don't have any control over okay. and so there's a big muscle and the bowel is pushing the food along and so if that muscle's not working well that's a problem for us as well and that'd be a hard thing to exercise yeah. as well and, and, and the other thing to understand is that we're learning more about the bowel and how the gut needs to be involved in all sorts of parts of, um, of our, our health. Mm. And one of them is immunity. And so throughout the gut, there's patches of um, cells that specialize in immunity. And so if you've got a healthy gut, it can have really beneficial effects, not just on absorption of food, but also general health, even things like, you know, brain as well. Wow. So what mm. would be the problems then if you've got an unhealthy gut? gut? Yeah. OK, so if you kind of break it down to some of those different um, aspects of good gut health. The first one is thinking about organisms. So, you know, I've spoken before about how it's important to have the right organisms mm. lining the gut, and they have a multitude of reasons why you want them to be good. So they can help with food digestion, they can help with symptoms like having a bloated tummy or discomfort. They're also important in, in other um, areas of health, such as things like diabetes, and even research is suggesting in Alzheimer's. Gosh. So quite amazing to have the right bacteria there. But alongside that, you also need to have good motility in the bowel. And uh, if you think about a good diet, you want to have things that have fiber in them. And what the fiber does is it just ensures that that smooth muscle is being exercised. So coming back to your question of exercise, <laughs> instead of lifting weights, what you want in your bowel is good fiber content. And that actually will exercise that small bowel and exercise those muscles and keep things moving along. Mm, yeah. And a lot of people don't get that in their diets these days, do Absolutely, they? Absolutely, yeah. So you recommend these products from Health 2000? Yeah, so, so what we've got is the um, uh, Lifestream um, uh, Bowel Biotic Fiber here. And um, what that contains is three main ingredients. One is a fiber in the form of uh, psyllium husk. And that fiber will actually help to um, get that bowel moving and avoid constipation. And fiber is also really important for other things such as control of sugar levels and also cholesterol levels. So fiber is not just about the motility. Wow. Um, it also has um, really high quality probiotics in it. And these are the bacteria that we want lining our gut. And so we uh, um, take those in this product and therefore we then have them sitting in our gut and hopefully they take a hold so that we have the right bacteria sitting in there. And then the third component is something called inulin, which is a prebiotic. Okay, so what's a prebiotic? Yeah, so a prebiotic is kind of interesting. We read a lot about prebiotics. A prebiotic is actually a food source for the probiotic. So if you think about all the gut lining your, your bowel mm -hmm. and you want the really good ones, then actually a prebiotic is a type of food source for those bacteria. So it encourages the growth of the good ones and discourages the growth of the bad ones. And if you have a prebiotic, it's going to help to make sure that when you take those probiotics, you actually get the get those to, to stay and colonize the bowel. Wow, so you're feeding your probiotic with your prebiotic, like giving it the good stuff, you're giving it healthy things, yeah. as opposed to... And, and it's interesting because uh, like a naturally occurring prebiotic in our diet would be like a fermented food, so like a sauerkraut. All oh, right. Well, I have in the fridge sauerkraut. I try and give it to my kids, and they like look at me like, no, no thank you very well. much. <laughs> I've had the so same say, problem. Okay, well, well, we'll go for something different. Maybe we'll go for you know a product like this, which I can stir into a smoothie, and yeah, hey, they've got it. Yes, yeah. I've tried the sauerkraut thing too. As much as yeah. I love it, it's not really working yeah, for the exactly. kids. Um, yeah. Aloe vera is another option that's uh, mentioned for good bowel health mm. as well. How does that work? Yeah, so aloe vera has. I mean, it's been around for centuries, and we know that um, in medicine, often a lot of um, 
drugs mm. that we use um, have been around for a long time. We can put it on burns, can't you? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a very kind of traditional thing. It's been used. So, so when you break open the leaf, you get that gel coming out, and that can be very soothing. So that's why you would put it on burns. Or after sun. Mm. Exactly. And, but also um, in the form of, you know, it's a soothing type of... Um, uh, effect on the bowel as well and so with an aloe vera product from Livestream what you've got is something that's going to help to soothe the bowel and soothe the lining of the bowel. Um, the key thing about the, um, the um, Livestream one is that it's organic, it's GMO free and it's from just that inner core of the leaf because the outer core actually has effects that cause diarrhea. So that's kind of the opposite oh, right. of what you're trying to okay, you want to get that balance good, right. Yeah, mm. you want to get it just right. You want your gut health to be really good. And so there's a patented method whereby they take that inner gel just at the time it's it's produced and lock it in so that you know that you're getting the really good stuff and none of the side effects of, of that latex oh, wow. that they have in the outer. Fascinating. Leaf, yeah. uh, that's really helped and I'm hoping that my, it'll be helping us all with our mobility. Cool. Oh, inner mobility, shall we say. Yes, Great absolutely. Advice. Good health. Thank yeah. you so much. And Dr. Emma has brought along products for everyone in the Yay. audience today so you'll have good bowel mobility <laughs> and they are available at house 2000 stores just ask their friendly staff to point you in the right direction